on guys, I'm Aaron from PhoneDog.com and this is a Samsung Vibrant with T-Mobile. It's one of two Galaxy S devices available on nationwide carriers right now. The Vibrant with T-Mobile and the Captivate with AT&T. If you remember a couple of weeks ago I was at the Galaxy S launch event in New York City where they announced those two as well as the Fascinate for Verizon and the Epic 4G for Sprint. So very similar in terms of underpinnings. Uh, Android 2.1 with Samsung's TouchWiz UI all running are all using rather super AMOLED displays and all running one gigahertz uh, hummingbird processor so very similar in that regard design wise a little bit different depending on which one you were looking at you know I think as I said in one of the videos I think the vibrant does the best job of preserving the original Galaxy S look with the curved edges as you can see and the bottom and then the little lip on the back bottom as well. So does a good job of preserving the original European Galaxy S uh, unlocked model. So if you like that model, you know, in terms of design, this is the one to get. But first impressions, very pleased with the device. You know, it runs a one gigahertz Hummingbird processor, as I said, so very speedy on that front. Android 2.1 with a TouchWiz UI, which we'll get more into the software as we, do, as we start the review. 16 gigabytes of onboard storage. So one frustration I've always had with the Android 2.1 is, you know, without any sort of hacks, you can't store programs to the SD card. So once you run out of you know, built-in memory, you're kind of stuck. The nice thing about this, 16 gigabytes of onboard memory, so you never have to worry about that. So it kind of has an iPhone feel in that regard, where there's you know, a bunch of onboard memory, you don't have to worry about how many apps you have, or if you're gonna have to delete apps as time goes on. So that's nice there as well. Uh, four inch Super AMOLED display with 480 by 800 pixels, 16.7 million colors, and I'll show you that more in depth in a few minutes, but the screen is awesome, and it's a nice balance between the 3.7 inch Droid Incredible you know, type devices and the 4.3 inch uh, Evo Droid X type devices. So it strikes a healthy balance in between the two. Feels good in the hand, and you know, in terms of uh, <clears throat> build quality, you're gonna fall into one of two camps. Uh, either it's gonna feel cheap and plasticky to you when you first pick it up, or it's going to feel lightweight and awesome. It is you know, a, a bit more plasticky feeling than any other Android device I've used. That being said, it's very well constructed. You know, in the first couple of days I used it, I thought, you know, this is kind of plasticky. I'd like to go back to, you know, a Nexus One or an iPhone 4 or something that's built with metal or with glass or with something a little bit different. But after a couple of days of use, I found that it's very, it feels good in the hand. And even when I'm applying, you know, force death grip, even when I'm applying uh, force to the sides or, you know, holding it like I would with a call, there's no squeaking in terms of the plastic. It's very well built very well constructed, and any way I hold it, I don't feel any sort of give with the plastic. So actually after a couple of days, I became very fond of it. It feels good in the pocket. It's very lightweight, so you don't feel it, uh, even though you know, a nice big four inch device. So you get the best of both worlds. And I found myself after five or six days thinking, you know, I really like this thin and light thing. It's awesome. So my advice to you, you know, if it does feel cheap to you when you first feel it, take it home for a couple of days. Play with it, see what you think, put it in the pocket, um, walk around with it. And you may be convinced after five or six days otherwise. So enough of that. Galaxy S, T-Mobile, Vibrant, part of the Galaxy S line. Coming up now. So here's a Samsung Vibrant. And if you didn't catch the unboxing video, I'll walk through some of the specs pretty quickly here. It's a 4-inch Super AMOLED display with 480 by 800 pixels and offers 16.7 million colors. So video really doesn't do it justice. The picture is absolutely beautiful. Colors are very rich, very crisp and it's an absolutely wonderful display. So one gigahertz processor, 16 gigabytes of onboard memory, Android 2.1, which as you can see is customized with Samsung. It, it, it's a version of TouchWiz UI. It's not what you would expect like you've seen in some of the Samsung feature phones, but it's still branded TouchWiz and it's a little bit different than stock Android 2.1. You have your power button on the right side, your volume rocker on the left, a little hump on the bottom with you know the microphones down there of course but a little hump on the bottom so interesting uh, little design thing there five megapixel camera on the back without a flash and speaker 3.5 millimeter headphone jack one thing I love in terms of design about this device is the way the micro USB port is uh, is designed instead of you know if you remember several smartphones we've reviewed you have to pull back the USB cover and it gets frustrating and you see you think to yourself after six months or a year is this thing still going to be there this is a sliding door which I absolutely love undo hook reveals the micro USB port when you're done slide it back and you're back in business so 
much more stable to me, much more reliable in terms of build quality, not don't have to worry about six months or a year down the road, not having a USB port cover. So nice there as well. Bottom, four and typical buttons you would see on an Android device. Menu, home, back, and search. All capacitive touchscreen buttons. The Vibrant runs Android 2.1, but as you can see, it's not vanilla Android. It's Samsung's TouchWiz user interface that's installed over Android 2.1. And you know, I was skeptical at first. I thought I wasn't gonna like it, but again, after a couple of days, I got used to it and actually enjoyed some of the customization op options that it offered. Uh, you'll see out of the box, it has seven home screens that you can customize. And one really neat thing about that is you can actually edit the home screens. So nice new features, no nice different feature that you don't see in some of the uh, custom uh, Android user interface builds. If you don't want seven screens, you can delete one, you can move it around. So if I want this one in between those two, I can do that. And when I back out, you'll see that I now have six, because I deleted that other one, and the feeds and updates moved from the left side of the battery widget to the right. So some nice customization options there as well. So you can see the menu is a little bit different. Instead of having you know the straight scroll up, scroll down like you would expect from Android, you actually scroll from the left to the right, and the icons are boxed in a box format. So a couple different customizations there. You can view the type by customizable grid, meaning that you can customize them any way you want to. You can view them in alphabetical order, or you can do an alphabetical list, and it shows up like that. Customizable grid. View type, alphabetical grid. And you can see T-Mobile pre-installs quite a bit on the Vibrant. Avatar, the full movie, no, you know, no previews. The full movie Avatar is installed on here. A uh, couple different little benefits all share, along with some programs you'll see. I've installed CBS, Fandango, those type of things. Uh, Moby TV, T-Mobile's My Account, My Device, Visual Voicemail, and The Sims 3. So you get some nice uh, media-centric applications out of the box. And who can complain? You get a full, you know, two almost three-hour movie included for free so believe me I've, I've spent some time watching that so that's that's very cool we'll get to that in a minute but a couple different neat widgets uh, my favorite is what's all the feeds and updates widget which aggregates all of your social networking I don't use Facebook but if I did I could put that in here uh, right now my Twitter feed is what's showing up here with the option to update from the program so I've got a status update I'll say hello you know, on Twitter, everybody's going to write back and say, hello, 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 hi, how are you? You know, so very funny there. Messaging, you'll notice that some of the things uh, in, the, in the Vibrant are very similar to the iPhone, like messaging. You'll notice immediately the uh, bubble type conversations, and I can compose a message. Now, there are three keyboards that come installed on the Vibrant. The typical, the stock Android keyboard is what I prefer to use, but there are actually two others. The Samsung keypad, which is surprisingly good. I, you know, I am a big fan of uh, HTC's Sense UI keyboard, and then you know, for my second favorite, I prefer Android. And the Samsung one wasn't bad. I'll show it to you. That's it there. We'll say. Jumped over the lazy cat. I'm gonna mix it up like that because I can. So you notice that there. Um, swipe is available as well. So if swipe is your thing, which I like swipe a lot. You know, I, I haven't gotten used to using it on a daily basis yet, but it's pre-installed as well. So you can see I'm absolutely terrible at it. So I will uh, I will stop there. But that's pre-installed as well. So one thing that's nice, the contact list isn't your stock, you know, standard contact list. You have that, and you can see some design changes um, there as a result of uh, the touch with, you know, colors like blue and such. But you can also organize by groups. You can see history. So you can see that text message I sent earlier, the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy cat. And you can see updates 
as well, which if you had Facebook, Twitter, MySpace uh, installed and activated, you could see updates from your friends that are in your contacts list there as well. So some nice things in TouchWiz that you don't see in vanilla Android.